Wenatchee Valley real estate market update for April 2021. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. Our company serves all of North Central Washington from Leavenworth all the way up to Oroville, the Canadian border. I'm coming to you to talk about the Wenatchee Valley real estate market. And what we've seen is an increase in sales. And I'm going to tell you why that's incorrect and false, or maybe it's accurate, but misleading. I'm going to talk about inventory levels. Have, is, there, is there light at the end of the tunnel? Will we see more inventory? What's currently happening with inventory? And lastly, prices. Where are the values of homes? Where are they going to go? And what is my bold prediction for the rest of 2021? So for the, the end of the first quarter, we saw sales reported at 88 and an increase of 22%. So they're saying sales increased 22%, and that's compared to last year. But I'm going to tell you why that's misleading. It's misleading a couple of reasons. One, sales are actually down year over year for the first quarter, right? So sales are down 8%. They're not really up 22%. The other thing is right around this time, the only inventory we have seen has been new construction. New construction has remained very, very strong. So what you're seeing is a lot of reported sales that were new construction. So these were homes that started construction in October, November, December, and now they're, the homes are done in East Wenatchee, Wenatchee, and they're closing right now. So sales are increasing, but it's misleading because a lot of those are new construction homes that really sold months ago. So what should we see moving forward? Well, here's my prediction, is that we're actually gonna see sales increase compared to last year because we're gonna be comparing everything to last year and last year around this time, March, April, May, we had COVID and COVID shut down the economy when it came to real estate at the very beginning because we weren't essential, we were non-essential. So in, in May and June, you're gonna see numbers that show an increase in sales. I think that's gonna be misleading. I think the sales are actually gonna be lower than they really are. And then in the second half of the year, in the second half of the year, you're gonna see a really a big drop in sales because last year was great. Last year was amazing. It was a, a boomer year. And so, you know, again, we're going to see increase in sales, but it's misleading because we're comparing against the beginning of the pandemic. And then we're going to see a decrease in sales because at the, we had a pent up demand after the pandemic and everyone started moving and buying housing. And there's still a huge demand for housing. I mean, the demand is out of control, maybe not out of control, but it is massive. And it keeps growing, even though interest rates went down and they went up and now they're back down again and prices continue to steadily climb. That hasn't even phased demand yet. It's, it's crazy. In fact, I predicted, and I'm going to hold on to my prediction, actually, I'm going to hold on to my prediction and first tell you about inventory. Inventory is down 77% from last year. Um, active listings are at 30, but that's not telling you the whole story because What's happening is homes are selling or going under contract quickly, but the closing dates change. So, you know, when sellers are, have the advantage, they don't really want to close really quickly. So what we're telling our clients is, hey, put your home on the market, lock in a buyer at these high prices and choose your closing date, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days. We've done 180 day closing because a lot of buyers or sellers don't have a place to go. So they're going to want to sell, lock in that price and then buy, but on their own timeline, they wanna buy themselves some time, maybe build a house, get a pre-sale or find something off market. So <clears throat> inventory is really low because things are under contract. Pending sales are way up, right? See, we don't report pending sales. Pending sales means it's under contract. Those are way up. With low inventory, high demand, you can expect prices to be increasing. The average sales price is 437. That's 18% up from last year, where it was 370, just as we hit the pandemic. 437, my bold prediction here is that the average sales price in Wenatchee will hit $500,000 by the end of the year. So by the end of 2021, we will see a, it was going to be $63,000 increase in values on the average, on the average. So if you're higher than that, you're going to have more money. If you're lower than that, just slightly less. But we're going to see average sales price hit $500,000 by the end of the year. Also, by, the Biden administration has proposed a $15,000 credit or uh, incentive or grant 
or down payment assistance, some, something for first time home buyers to get into the marketplace. If that passes in 2021, the average sales price is gonna to go to 525, 525. And I don't see anything happening with interest rate through 2021, no changes in interest rate. We're gonna do everything possible to keep that low by we, I mean, um, Americans, uh, the federal government is gonna do whatever possible to keep interest rates low because we don't wanna see any change to housing. It's what, it is the saving grace right now in the economy. It's huge, just trillions and trillions of dollars and we wanna see that. So Wenatchee is becoming more and more valuable in demand from out of the area. We're a Zoom town, meaning people can live here and work from here and have a quick commute to Redmond, Bellevue, Kirkland. Our marketing has been designed the last decade to reach out to people outside of the area as well as in the area, but really outside the area to get top dollar. If you have any questions about the real estate market, you have to understand something. This is the whole real estate market, the entire real estate market. But for you, the homeowner that's watching this, you have a very specific home, a very unique home. Your home, there's no other home like yours. There's no other lot in Wenatchee like yours. There's no other location like yours or Leavenworth or Chelan. There's nothing like your home. There might be the same home somewhere else, but it's not the same lot, not the same view, not the same location. So what your home were, is worth or what how the market is gonna affect your home is completely different. If you have a question about what to repair on your home, what things you can do to increase the value. When is the right time to sell for your specific home? Because each home's different. Reach out to us. Um, you can find us online, nickmcclainrealestate.com or just Google Nick McLean. Find us online, reach out, and our team will, will be there for you. And there's no obligation to sell, list, buy, nothing. We're community members. We value family, health, and community as a core value. And we're here to support you as your expert agents of choice. Hope you enjoyed the market update. I'll see you in one month.